Are you looking for fast and generally inexpensive gift ideas that will actually fit in an envelope and may even be mailable? Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com and I'm here to help you make the most of your crafty time and supplies. So let's get making. Today I have 20 flat gifts that you can add to envelopes and some of these you've probably thought of before but hopefully there's a couple of new ones in there and I created a handy PDF so that you don't forget any of these ideas because I know I've certainly like heard lots of ideas and then when it comes time to actually put something together all the things that I've heard of before kind of just go out uh, out the door and I, I forget what I wanted to, to do. So I made this reference for me but hopefully also it is helpful to you. I have gathered some of the items on the list but I'm not going to use them all and in addition to sharing the items with you and this printable and they will also just be in the video description just the list of them I'm also going to share how to decorate said envelope to make the gift just a little bit more fun and brighter. And of course, you can also put a handmade card in the envelope. If you watch my channel, you probably make a lot of cards. If you don't watch my channel, I invite you to come figure out how easy it is to make cards because that is really a big goal of mine is to make it fun, simple, accessible to everyone. Okay, so. I'm not going to just read off the list to you. I'm confident that you can read it right now or that you can download it and or check the video description. But some things that I have are facial masks, tea, hot chocolate. These ones are actually a little bit bigger and so they're going to be better for five by seven cards and I'll talk a little bit about that because I'm going to do A2 size envelopes today. Nail wraps, um, couple of things on here and some of these are going to be more mailable than others and you're going to have to kind of check with your post office and you because I know there's people who watch from all over the world so like maybe in the U.S. you could probably mail a tea packet with just a single stamp again it's probably because you just never know what's going to happen and I always encourage you to check whatever the updated guidelines for mailing is because I don't know when someone's going to watch this nail wraps I really think that easily you could get these inside of an envelope and just put a stamp on it. I have mailed a decent thickness. Like I've mailed a small stamp set, like one of these. This one's from Newton's Nook. Um, and just put, I think, an extra stamp on it. And it went through the mail just fine. There is a certain amount of, your mileage may vary, there may be risks. So keep those things in mind. And in my, I actually put a for crafters section. So... These are things you might send to another crafter and my stamp sets were included because again I've had success with that but also if you're handing it to them. And then I also listed things that you could make so that if you didn't want to spend any additional money and you just wanted to use your craft supplies that's To decorate it. the envelopes to put our flat gifts in I'm just going to use my no scrap templates because they make really quick and easy cards but they'll make even faster and easier envelopes and the envelopes are about the same size as the cards so the measurements will work out great. I have the Scrapbook Customs Christmas Watercolor 6x6 pad. Whatever pattern paper you have will work great. In this instance, you don't need to have anything particularly special. And I really recommend this as a way to use up some papers that maybe you're not completely in love with, but you just really do need to get used. Okay, I had one that I picked out that I really liked. With, this, with these flowers here, the poinsettias on the bottom. So it calls for me to cut this to three inches by two and a half inches. So we'll start, or I'm trying to get that piece, but we start by cutting this from six by six to three by six. You don't have to remember these measurements because just like this is a printable PDF at JessCrafts.com, so is this. So there'll be a link directly to this, the template as well. Okay, and then it calls to cut it to two and a half. I recommend double-sided paper just because then you can mix up the two patterns that you use. You don't need double-sided paper. Um, if you don't have double-sided paper and you do want to mix up the patterns, I would just cut two sheets to the same size and this particular template makes two cards with one sheet of six by six paper. If you cut two pieces, you'll just make four cards, or in this case, four envelopes. So one of the reasons I liked this pattern paper is that it kind of gives me a very obvious place to put a sentiment or embellishment of some sort. And 
Also, it had a fairly busy pattern, which is actually in this case kind of a good thing. I wanted something that was like more solid looking. A really sparse pattern, I think, wouldn't ground the card or the the envelope very well. I'm probably gonna keep saying card because I'm just so used to making cards and that being what I'm gonna create. This is also an excellent way if you used a paper for your Christmas cards and you still have some left. Like I made some cards with the Michaels Recollections Holiday Romance pattern paper collection. And if you saw that video and you made the 24 cards, you still had pattern paper left, you can go and just decorate the envelopes with this method. Okay. I've gone ahead and used those sketches that I showed you to assemble some sets of envelopes off screen. As you can see here, like the blue really stands out, but this white paper fades in. So you kind of want to consider those things if you really do want it to stand out, maybe use a different color envelope because there are beautiful colored envelopes out there. I'll link you to a place where I've gotten some colored envelopes um, on Amazon that I liked. And then the other thing you might think at this point is, can you send these in the mail decorated like this? The answer is maybe. Um, you can send decorated things in the US mail in my experience. However, you will likely need to put it under the category of non-machinable, so you'll need a different stamp, and you will need room here in the corner for your stamp to be canceled. And so there's some risk to doing that. I'm not necessarily recommending decor I'm not recommending decorating envelopes to send through the mail in this fashion. If you wanted to send the envelope through the mail, I would probably just stamp on it. But you could potentially if you do consider some things and you may want to take it to your post office and ask them before you make a bunch and I'm hand delivering mine. And that's mainly what this idea is for. I'm thinking this is perfect for that kind of person who many crafters are because they're very generous people who maybe likes to just pass out gifts to the people who work at their child's school or um, set, leave something for the postal worker or uh, give something to the grocery store clerk who's helping you put your bags in the car. And so that's kind of where I'm at with these ideas. But you do you. And also, if I'm gonna use some pre-printed sentiment strips to decorate mine, you might prefer to put the name of the recipient on it. I think that's a great way to personalize it if you know who you are giving it to, or you might just choose to stop right here with the pattern paper and then just write um, like to my postal worker or you know something of that nature like something general or the name of the person etc um, and I would let I would just recommend you kind of finish it off the way you want but I wanted to give you that sort of jumping off point as here's what you could put in the envelopes here's how you can make them really really simple and fun to do and use up that pattern paper because I know a lot of us have a stack of pattern paper that we really could use especially extra Christmas paper because sometimes and I'm not saying who or naming names but sometimes some of us buy more Christmas stuff than we need like me and leave a comment if you too, <laughs> so I don't feel so alone. So if you buy too much Christmas paper, you can um, leave it down there. Okay, so I, uh, these are the sentiments I chose. Paper Rose, Crisp Christmas. Paper Rose has a lot of sentiments, like they have birthday ones too, so that's the other thing. You can use this a different time of year. You don't wanna send them for the holiday season, and you see I made this one very general, so it's not too Christmassy. You can also make one, like my first one, had more of a Christmas slant towards it, and I can put a Christmas sentiment on it. Um, but you could use this any time of year. You can put the paper rose birthday sentiments and break out the, that birthday paper. And then you're say you're giving a gift card, but you just want to make it a little bit more personalized. Or you just want to tuck something fun into your card. These are all great little ideas, and like I said, most of them are very inexpensive. If your gift is too large for an A2 size envelope, you can use these 6x6 A2 templates on a 5x7 envelope 
or you can go find some of my five by seven templates at justcrafts.com and I'll try to remember to link those in the video description as well. So decorated envelope and then I can tuck in a card and a gift or just the gift. You know, you've done the decorating on the outside. If that's all you have time for, perfect. So if you found this video helpful, here's another video for getting more ideas for enjoying your crafty time and supplies. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty, crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template or tutorial. And check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.